Welcome everyone to Gratz College's 125th anniversary celebration. And welcome to me from the past. Shalom everyone, I'm Hyman Gratz and I'm excited to be sharing the stage or um, screen with so many esteemed members of our community and honorees who will be receiving Gratz medals and honorary degrees. It is so wonderful to see that the tradition of scholarship leadership and philanthropy lives on here in Philadelphia. My sister Rebecca and I helped inspire and dream up what later became Gratz College. And we not only supported in spirit, but in coin. In my last year, I helped create a trust that would go on to help establish Gratz College. And I trust that you will continue to support Gratz College for the next 125 years. So let's get started with the program. Thank you, Mr. Gratz, and welcome everyone to tonight's special celebration of Gratz's 125th anniversary. Nearly a thousand have registered for tonight's program from places near and far. Philadelphia, of course, California, Canada, Argentina, Israel, just to name a few. It is wonderful to know that those joining us tonight include so many Gratz alumni, faculty, staff, family, and friends of Gratz. I would also like to welcome all of the many people joining us tonight who are new to Gratz. Whether you are an old friend or a new friend, it is my hope that tonight you will learn new things about Gratz and be inspired to learn more. We are growing and expanding in new and exciting ways each year. It is truly an exciting time to be the nation's oldest independent Jewish college. We are expanding, growing, and as our theme of the gala tonight suggests, we are moving boldly into the future. So, now that we've heard from our founder, Mr. Hyman Gratz, let's shift to the present and hear from Gratz board members. Kathy Elias, our acting chair, and Leon Levy, who is on the Board of Governors and also serving as the honorary 125th anniversary event chair. Thank you, Naomi. I'd like to express my appreciation and thanks for the leadership of my fellow board members and President Finkelman. And thank you to our faculty, staff, students, friends, and family who have come together to celebrate tonight. On behalf of everyone in the Grass College community, I'd like to send a special message to our board chair, Rabbi Dr. Lance Sussman. Lance, we send you all of our best wishes for continued health and strength and look forward to seeing you soon. I'd also like to acknowledge and thank two past presidents of Grass, Grass College who are joining us tonight, President and Professor Emeritus Dr. Jonathan Rosenbaum, and President Joy Goldstein. In our 125-year history, the continuous line we can track through their tenures, spanning from 1998 to 2017, is leading the college's early adoption and transition to online learning. This innovation resulted in Grass becoming one of the world's pioneers in online education and made it possible for the college to experiment and expand in the changing landscape of higher education, continuing right up to this most unusual year. In response to a unique pandemic event, the entire world has had to quickly adapt by moving learning and business to online platforms. I'm happy to report that Grass College's degree programs, continuing education and community programs we're already there. Today, Grass offers the world's only online doctorate in Holocaust and Genocide Studies and a doctorate of education in leadership. Our seven master's degree programs include concentrations in human rights, interfaith leadership, camp administration, nonprofit management, Jewish studies, Jewish professional studies, and education. And our historic Jewish community high school, now Grass Academy, offers Jewish learning to teens around the country and the opportunity to earn college credit in Hebrew and Jewish study. More than ever, we appreciate the generations of leaders who secured Grass College's core Jewish identity and educational mission while adapting to needs in our changing world. Tonight, we'll get a glimpse of the visionary people, past and present, whose work illustrates the mission of Grass College and with our special guest, Jake Tapper, we'll take time to do what we do best, learn together. 
So why is grass important to me? It's been a part of my life for 20 years. I'm the mother of two Jewish community high school students, and I'm also a grass college graduate. I received my Master of Arts degree in Jewish Studies in 2009. My teachers and mentors at GRASS gave me a solid foundation to serve the Jewish community as an educator and executive for many years, and I'd like to say thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce Leon Levy, my colleague on the Executive Committee of the Board of Governors. As chair of our investment committee, Leon brings his professional expertise and wisdom to the important work of stewarding the GRATS endowment. He stepped forward to chair this anniversary event and has done a tremendous job to ensure that this milestone in Grass's history is celebrated and honored. We are very thankful, Leon, for your leadership and generosity. Leon? Thanks, Kathy. It is my pleasure and honor to welcome all of you here tonight to Grass's College 125th Anniversary Celebration. I would like to thank each and every one of you for joining us in our community tonight as we honor our founding, which had happened in 1895. I thank my colleagues on the Grants Board of Governors, our president, Dr. Paul Finkelman, our faculty, our staff, our students, alumni, and all of you who have made Grants College a strong and vibrant institution. I hope you will join me in thanking all of the generous sponsors who have made this night very special. Thank you very much. Congratulations and mazel tov to tonight's honorees. Dr. Jake Tapper, well, of CNN, but I actually was too quick on that. Dr. Tapper is getting his honorary doctorate tonight in his doctorate of human letters. Jake, congratulations to you and mazel tov and welcome back to Philadelphia. To Regina and the late Martin Horton who will be receiving the Gratz Honorary Master of Arts degree. Our Gratz Medal recipients will be Sora Landis, a Jewish educator and a Gratz, a Gratz alumna. To the late Martin and Lois Bachman, both of blessed memory. Marty had passed away in 2019 and Lois just passed away this past week. And I want to extend my deepest condolences to the Bachman family. And I also wanted to know that I had the pleasure of serving on the Board of Governors with Marty for many, many years. He was a wonderful person. To my beloved congregation, Mikvah Israel, who will be receiving a Gratz Medal, which will be received by its Rabbi Albert Gabay and by its Parnas Eli Gabay. And by the way, there's no relation with those things. So why is Gratz so important to me? Well, as a child of Sephardic Jewish immigrants, I grew up and made my life and my career here in Philadelphia. I personally understand the importance of institutions that make it their mission to nurture, sustain Jewish life, learning, and community. Two such institutions are Gratz College and beloved Congregation Mikvah Israel, one of tonight's 125th anniversary honorees. I served on the College Board of Governors, and because I believe in Gratz's mission, it is an institution born in Philadelphia that served as a model for the nation and now serves its students around the world. I am proud that the nation's first independent Jewish college has emerged as a premier online institution of higher education. The commitment to grads is also a personal one to me because of its connection to beloved congregation Mikra Israel. This is where my wife Fran and I have raised our entire family and where I also serve as a lay leader. In fact, I had the pleasure of serving as its president for 31 years and still have been very active with the Congregation of for Israel. This is why I'm here at celebrating Gratz's 125th anniversary in a year full of turmoil and uncertainty. We can rejoice that this wonderful institution continues with strength and a sense of purpose. It is a tough time for all colleges and the students that we serve. So Gratz really needs your support now more than ever. And I hope you will join with me in investing in Gratz's future and continued excellence 
by making a gift of any size that is meaningful to you. So I want to thank you again for all that you do to keep Grat strong and moving boldly into the future. Here is to another 125 years. Thank you. Here, here to another 125 years. Thank you so much, Leon. Now, please welcome a familiar face to many in the Gratz community, Dr. Ruth Sandberg, the Leonard and Ethel Landau Professor of Rabbinics. Dr. Sandberg will offer a prayer for peace. A prayer adapted from Sim Shalom in the Jewish liturgy. Grant universal peace, goodness, blessing, grace, love, and mercy for us and for all people. Bless us, our creator, all of us as one with your light. For with your light, you have given us the guide to a life of caring and a love of kindness, righteousness, blessing, compassion, well-being, and peace. May it please you to bless all of us in every season and at all times with your gift of peace. Blessed are you, O God, who blesses us with peace. And let us all say, Amen. Thank you, Rabbi Dr. Ruth Sandberg. On behalf of Gratz College, I would like now to thank all of our sponsors. Your generosity and support means so much to us and especially to our students. Those who made gifts after December 1st are not named in the, um, on the images that you're seeing right now, but all will be acknowledged in the beautiful tribute book that lives on our website and can be downloaded. So please take a moment to see these names and appreciate and recognize and acknowledge their, again, generosity and commitment to Gratz College. And now, if you'll indulge me for a bit of lighthearted fun with a dash of history, I'd like to welcome two special guests from our storied past, Rebecca Gratz and Isaac Leeser. Hello, Rebecca Gratz. What a lovely new outfit. It's been a long time. About 150 years? You look spiffy in your modern clothing. Shalom, Isaac. All of those here tonight should know that Miss Rebecca was the heart and soul behind making a Jewish education accessible to everyone in Philadelphia. Because of her, we reached Jews of all ages and backgrounds, and Gratz College welcomed women in its classes from day one. Now, though a lot has changed, today Gratz College continues to nurture critical thinking and builds communities of learners. I am thrilled to see the diversity of students and programs that the college offers in the new century. You're too modest, Isaac. Everyone should know that Isaac Leeser was a publisher, a scholar, and an incredible teacher. According to historians, he is the architect of American Judaism and American Jewish education. Gratz College would not exist without his leadership and wisdom. But enough about us. We're here to thank you all for continuing the work of supporting and growing Gratz College and Jewish education in America. Rebecca and I are eternally grateful. We'd like to wish a mazel tov and congratulations to tonight's honorees. We are moved and humbled by their life's work, which carries forward the work we began so many years ago. Well, it is a celebration, Isaac. Let's have a waltz. <laughs> You all still waltz in 2020, right? Certainly. At a socially safe distance, of course. Enjoy the evening, everyone. <laughs> Well, that was fun. As a historian, it's always a pleasure to see the people we write about come alive, even for a moment, and even if it's on Zoom. Uh, it's a great segue to what we are going to do next, 
which is to give the Gratz Medal to people who have supported Gratz and made it into the college it is today. When I began my tenure as president three years ago, it seemed to me that we needed some way, in addition to an honorary degree, to honor those people who have served Gratz, who have served the academic world and society at the very highest level. The inaugural Gratz Medal was given last year to our then board chair, Michelle Portnoff. The Gratz Medal actually tells a story that is deeply rooted in Gratz history and in American Jewish history. It displays the seal of Gratz College, which was designed in 1900 by the renowned American artist Catherine M. Cohen. Catherine Cohen was a Jewish sculptor from Philadelphia who studied with, among others, Thomas Eakins at the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts and was an assistant to Augustus St. Gaudens. More importantly, perhaps, she was one of the first women, scholar, scu women sculptors in America to make a name for herself. And in many ways, this is part of the Gratz story because the first class at Gratz College had both men and women at a time when most institutions were not integrated uh, by in that way. So the fact that the Gratz Medal reflects her, it also reflects Gratz College. It is now my honor to, our, to award tonight's first Gratz Medal to Sora Landis. As a Gratz alumna and education leader, Sora embodies the legacy of Gratz College. She served for many years in many roles, a teacher, a Rebetzin, a mother, a grandmother, and now a great-grandmother. And she is renowned for her leadership as the founding principal of the Foreman Center of the Perlman Jewish Day School in Greater Philadelphia. She served in this role for 27 years, over which time her influence extended across generations of educators, children, and families. She continues to inspire and model a deep and abiding commitment to Jewish learning and to education. Soar as a regular participant in Gratz lectures and continuing education programs. She was one of the first people at Gratz that I met because she came to the first program uh, that was live in the building after I became president. Over her lifetime, Soar has received many prestigious awards for her deep and abiding commitment to Jewish education and leadership, including Gratz's Distinguished Alumni Award, an Honorary Doctorate in Hebrew Letters from Gratz, Hebrew Letters from Gratz, and other awards. It is now my great privilege to give Sora the Gratz Medal. Sora, you honor Gratz College by accepting this medal. Thank you, Dr. Finkelman, for this lovely honor, which I will cherish. I came to Gratz College in 1947 when my father moved here from Cleveland. And um, he, he agreed to be the pro bono dean of Gratz College. They paid his gas. It was shortly after the war, and gas was in short supply. I was a, a student at Girls High, which I didn't like because the girls were very thickish, although they've all turned out to be lovely women. And um, I had gone to a five-day-a-week Hebrew school in Cleveland, and so I was too advanced for the high school here. My father convened a board meeting at Gratz College, and they voted to allow me to, to enter the college at age 13. And I had to sign a paper saying I wouldn't teach until I was 19. We were all very Zionistic at Gratz College. I found my soulmates there. We asked all the professors to teach us a Hebrew, and they all complied. We, we, we had lovely events like Gratz Hoppers, where we, where we had dances, and we had, we had Hebrew groups, Ivriya and Akhla, that met regularly. It was a very exciting time just prior to the creation of the State of Israel. I will always remember Gratz with great affection, and I thank you again, Dr. Finkelman and Naomi Hausman, for this great honor. Sora, thank you very much. You are truly an inspiration. 
I should add that the Landis family remains connected to Gratz in other ways. Two years ago, her son, Josh Landis, endowed a lecture in Jewish military history in honor of Sora's late husband, uh, Rabbi Admiral Landis, who, among other things, uh, served as the head of the clergy corps in the Navy. Uh, and this spring, we will be having a lecture by Admiral Yoshi Askenazi of the Israeli Navy uh, as part of the Admiral Rabbi Landis lecture. It is now my honor to present the second Gratz Medal to Lois and Martin Bachman of blessed memory. As Leon noted, Marty passed away in 2019, and Lois, sadly, just passed away last week. I send my deepest condolences to the family on behalf of the entire Gratz community. When I came to Gratz, the Bachmans were among the first alums I met. I had a fascinating conversation with them about their lives growing up in Philadelphia and about Marty's World War II years when he ended up as an NCO working directly with the Allied Command in Berlin, including working at one meeting that included both General Eisenhower and Marshal Zhukov of the Soviet Army. As a historian, I was blown away to talk to Marty about his service to our country and his connection as a fly on the wall watching history unfold. I am equally blown away by Lois's service to Gratz College. The Bachmans are an extraordinary family. They have been part of the fabric of Gratz College for nearly 70 years. They were both lifelong learners, and in the 1990s, Marty and Lois enrolled in one Jewish adult education course after another. Once he retired in the late 90s, Marty took many courses in Hebrew language, culture, and history. In the 1970s, Lois studied at Gratz's Samuel Netsky Adult Institute for Jewish Studies, completed a master's degree in library science from Drexel University, and earned a Judaica librarianship certificate from Gratz in 1985. She volunteered in the public schools, lobbied her township to fund its first free public library, and sat on the board of the Hebrew Sunday School Society, which was founded by Rebecca Gratz in 1838. From the mid-90s to the mid, I'm sorry, from the mid-80s to the mid-90s, Marty served on the board of Gratz, and in 2003, he and Lois became major donors to Gratz, giving us over $100,000 to create the back Bachman Rare Book Room, at, which is now part of the Gratz Library. Their enduring leadership, generosity, and friendship to Gratz has enriched the college, enriched our larger community. We are honored and humbled by their deep commitment to Gratz and their support for Jewish education and scholarship. We, of course, planned to give this award to them before their passing, but we are happy that their daughter, Margie Buxbaum, has prepared a few remarks to accept the Gratz Medal on their behalf. On behalf of my mother, Lois Bachman, and my father, Martin Bachman, of blessed memory, my family and I would like to thank the Gratz College Board of Governors and its leadership for the Gratz Medal on the occasion of the college's 125th anniversary celebration. Both my parents, were enthusiastic supporters of and students at Gratz for many years. I am sure they would be gratified to know that Gratz continues to thrive as it meets the academic needs of so many students. It is my honor to express their appreciation and thanks for this meaningful recognition, along with Mrs. Sora Landis and Congregation Mikvah Israel. Thank you, Margie, again. Please accept my deepest condolences to you and your family on the loss of your beloved mother. It is now my honor to make tonight's final presentation of a Gratz Medal. This does not go to a person, but to an institution, Congregation Mikveh Israel. As we celebrate our 125th anniversary, we honor the leadership, support, and vision of our founder, Hyman Gratz, and our institutional birthplace, Congregation Mikveh Israel. It is one of the oldest Jewish congregations in the United States and is properly known as the Synagogue of the American Revolution. In 1856, Hyman Gratz vested a trust in Mikveh Israel for, quote, the establishment and support of a college for the education of Jews residing in the city and county of Philadelphia. 
In 1895, Gratz College became the first Hebrew teacher's college in America. I welcome Rabbi Gabay and Parnas Eli Gabay from Mikveh Israel, who are receiving the medal on behalf of the congregation. Good evening. I'm Rabbi Gabay, Rabbi of the Congregation Mikveh Israel, the oldest Jewish congregation that is continuous in the United States. So I'm very honored to say these few words, that we are very grateful that Congregation Mikveh Israel is honored by Gratz College celebrating its 125th anniversary. What a beautiful medal we received. It will join the very important artifacts that we have that date from the 1740s. We are also honored that in our role of leadership, we are the founders of Gratz College. It is in the same spirit of our mission. Gratz College lived faithfully to its mission in Jewish education. We are told by our Chachamim, our sages, in the Talmud that says, Talmud Torah keneged kulam. The study of Torah is paramount. That study includes, as Harambam Maimonides says, that we have to study the Torah and everything that the Almighty created on this earth. And Gratz College is on this path. So we say to Gratz College, Mechayel Rechayel, from strength to strength, go ahead, we'll be with you all the time. Amen. My name is Eli Gabay, and I'm humbled to serve as the Parnas of Congregation Mikveh Israel, established in Philadelphia in 1740. On behalf of the congregation, we accept with reverence this great honor in recognition of the bond between these two great institutions, Gratz College and Congregation Mikveh Israel. A bond established by such great giants as Hyman Gratz, Rebecca Gratz, and Rabbi Isaac Leeser. We are here in the sanctuary of the congregation, not more than a block away from the Liberty Bell on Independence Mall, not more than a block away from our original building on Cherry Street. I'm proud to remember also that my father is a graduate of Gratz College in 1981 with a master's degree. On behalf of the congregation, I thank you for this great honor. Shalom. To all of our Gratz Medal honorees, congratulations. And thank you, Dr. Finkelman. Now let's take a moment to reflect on Gratz's history and our journey over the past 125 years.
That was inspiring. It, was, it is now time for the conferral of honorary degrees. Please join me in welcoming our college dean, Dr. Honor Moore. President Finkelman, as dean of the college, on behalf of the Gratz faculty and administration, it is my privilege to present to you Regina Horden and the late Martin Horden for Master of Arts degrees, honoris causa. Thank you, Dean Moore. Over the course of nearly 20 years, Regina Horden and Martin Horden of blessed memory each completed the equivalent of one or two master's degrees worth of courses in Jewish studies at Gratz College. But as non-matriculating students, they did not formally earn this degree. For the Hordens, it wasn't about degree attainment or a certificate. It was about learning and discovering. This love of learning is an inspiration to all of us. The Hordens have also been generous friends of Gratz and especially of the continuing education program. This past July, Marty passed away at the age of 89. By conferring an honorary Masters of Arts in Jewish Education, Gratz honors his memory and the extraordinary commitment to learning and the pursuit of knowledge that he shared with his beloved wife, Regina. I would like to thank President Paul Finkelman, Dean Moore, and the Gratz College Board of Governors for the honorary master's degree in Jewish studies. This one is mine, that, that I got this award. And this is the other one of Marty, my husband's Marty. Okay. My husband Marty, of blessed memory, and I enjoyed auditing all our courses at Gratz College. We believe strongly that we are never too old to learn about our Jewish history. One of the best memories is the Jewish heritage tour to China that was led by Gratz professor Jerry Putnik. He and Xu Xin, author of books on the ancient community of Jews in Kaifeng, took us to a synagogue in Kaifeng that was made into a museum. The highlight of our trip was when we met with a group of professionals who work in China and joined them for a Shabbat service and then dinner held at the hotel. Another wonderful learning experience was a Gratz Critch, sorry, Gratz trip to Portugal and Spain, where we learned about the Spanish Inquisition that took place in the late 1400s. These trips and all of the many Gratz courses we took gave us a full experience of many cultures. These experiences created great memories for Marty and myself, which we appreciated and wouldn't have gotten otherwise. How fortunate we were to take advantage of the excellent Jewish education we received at Gratz College. Thank you for recognizing our commitment to lifelong learning as a part of this special celebration of Gratz's 125th anniversary. President Finkelman, as Dean of the College, on behalf of the Gratz faculty and administration, it is my distinct honor and great privilege to present Jacob Paul Tapper to you for the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, honoris causa. Jake Tapper, as I'm sure almost all of you know, is the CNN anchor and chief Washington correspondent. Jake joined the network in January 2013. He currently anchors a one-hour weekday program, The Lead with Jake Tapper, and since 2015, he has hosted CNN's Sunday morning show, State of the Union. Clearly, he is a busy man. Jake began as a print journalist at the Washington City Paper, and he wrote stories for many other major publications, including The New Yorker, The New York Times Magazine, The Washington Post, the Los Angeles Times and the Weekly Standard. He left the print world of journalism to join ABC News with assignments in Afghanistan and Iraq, where he literally lit, risked his life to bring Americans news of our soldiers standing in harm's way. 
In this respect, Jake is in the tradition of the great reporters of World War II, like Edward R. Murrow, Walter Cronkite, William Shirer, and Ernie Pyle, who of course lost his life reporting on the war. At home, he curried, he, at home, he covered Hurricane Katrina and the presidential election of 2008. He then went on to CNN, where Americans rely on him regularly for solid, real, honest news, as well as for tough questioning of those who he interviews. His interviews on the State of the Union are with key newsmakers on politics and policy, both nationally and internationally. In 2016, he moderated two presidential primary debates. His reporting on the 2016 election earned him the Walter Cronkite Award in 2017 for excellence in television political journalism, the Los Angeles Press Club's President's Award for Impact on Media, and the Canadian Journalism Foundation's tribute to exemplary journalism. Four times, Tapper has been awarded the Merriman Smith Award for presidential coverage from the White House Correspondents Association. Being honored by your peers, who are also your competitors, is always the highest form of praise. Despite seeming to work every day on the news, Jake has ta found time to author four books that explore our history and our politics. My favorite, at least for the title, is Body Slam, the Jesse Ventura story, which was published in 1999. But his 2012 book, The Outpost, an untold story of American val valor, is perhaps his most important. It details the trauma and heroism of American troops in Afghanistan. It rose to a top 10 position on the New York Times bestseller list. And more importantly, this book and his reporting on the veterans and troops in Afghanistan and in Iraq were cited when the Congressional Medal of Honor Society awarded him the Tex McCray Award for Excellence in Journalism. In 2018, he published his first novel, Had the Hellfire Club, which is a political thriller set in the days of McCarthyism, and is currently being adopt, adapted by HBO. When I asked Jake to accept our honorary degree, I knew he was a great journalist, author, and leader in national media. He is a product of the Philadelphia Jewish community, which has been so important to Gratz, and a graduate of Akiba Hebrew High School, now the Jack M. Barrick Academy. I should add that the um, Jack M. Barrick Hebrew Academy is one of the sponsors tonight, and they have worked closely with us in putting this program together. Um, he has also been peripherally involved with Gratz. Sadly, I met Jack in, the 19, in 2019 at the funeral of Dr. Rella Mintz Geffen of blessed memory, who was a beloved Gratz professor of sociology, the first woman to serve as the dean of Gratz College, and a close family friend of the Tappers. So it seemed like a natural choice for s someone that Gratz should honor. While he was clearly a local kid, who became an intellectual star, I could not have predicted the historic event which would take place just a few year, just a few days before the conferral of this degree. And I thank you, Jake, for scoring this incredible journalistic coup right before we gave you an honorary degree. We couldn't have asked for so much. As you all know, Thursday, Jake earned the distinction of becoming the first reporter in the nation to simultaneously interview both President-elect Biden and Vice President-elect Harris. It was a fair, tough, and important interview. That Jake was able to get this interview illustrates his prominence and the respect he has earned as a leader of our national media. I should add as a side note that in 1982, the senator from New Jersey, the senator from Delaware, who he just interviewed, delivered the Saul Feinstone Memorial Lecture at Gratz College. Senator Biden's lecture was titled, Israeli Democracy and American Interests in the Middle East. Finally, of course, Jake's middle name is Paul, so naturally I had to invite him to receive an honorary degree. In the world of degrees of separation, Jake Tapper is intersected with Gratz in so many ways. In conferring this honorary degree, 
Gratz recognizes Drake's significant contributions as a journalist, author, and public intellectual. Throughout his career, he has demonstrated the courage, intellectual power, and dedicated to truth and objectivity that are the hallmarks of great journalism. He has demonstrated a commitment to social justice that speaks directly to the core values of Gratz College. He provides a model of leadership that will inspire our students, faculty, and the entire Gratz community. Thus, I am honored to welcome Dr. Jacob Paul Tapper as an alumnus of Gratz College. Dr. Tapper, congratulations. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Finkelman. It's an honor to receive this award, uh, this, uh, this degree rather. Um, and uh, my, my, my dad is a, a physician, Dr. Ted Tapper, and my mom is a nurse. So uh, finally they have a, a doctor for a son, uh, if not a medical doctor. I wanna thank Dr. Finkelman and Dr. Uh, Honor Moore and also the Gratz College uh, Board of Governors uh, for this Honorary Doctorate of Humane Letters. I also wanna take a moment uh, to acknowledge uh, the recipients of the Gratz Medal, Sora Landis, uh, Marjorie Boxbaum on behalf of uh, her late parents, the Bachmans, and Congregation of Israel, not to mention, of course, Regina Horton uh, for her honorary Master of Arts. Um, it is truly an honor to receive this degree from the nation's first independent uh, Jewish college. Uh, it is one from Philadelphia as well. So Judaism and Philadelphia are two things uh, that, are, that are major sources of identity for me as an institution founded uh, as non-denominational and egalitarian. Uh, Gratz resonates with my own values in many ways. Gratz, of course, was way ahead of its time. From day one, women and men studied together. Uh, and that, of course, uh, is resonant in, in my family, uh, where our daughter is named after the suffragette Alice Paul. Her name is Alice Paul Tapper, so there's another Paul for you, uh, Dr. Finkelman. Uh, and um, Gratz also, from its founding, was beholden to, to not any one specific denomination. Uh, it's an institution that has a vision for uh, Jewish life in America that includes those of all backgrounds, which is uh, very meaningful uh, for me. Uh, I was raised conservative, but my mom converted to Judaism. My wife converted to Judaism. We are now uh, go to a, a reform temple. Uh, so the idea that it is uh, welcoming uh, of all denominations uh, resonates with me. And also the idea that, that Grants is independent and truly committed to into the, into the pursuits of intellectualism uh, are also uh, values that I hope I embody. Um, and then of course, as a proud Philadelphian who loves history and politics, uh, I also love that Gratz College bears the name of a storied Jewish family with a rich history. Uh, the name Rebecca Gratz uh, is one uh, that, is, uh, that is as uh, known and meaningful to me as uh, names like Dr. J and Mike Schmidt, uh, names that I remember hearing all the time when growing up in Philadelphia. So thank you so much for this honor. Uh, thank you for recognizing uh, what I have tried to do as a, as a journalist. And I hope I uh, make all those who are affiliated with grants uh, and Judaism and Philadelphia, uh, I, I hope I, I make you proud. So I, I appreciate this and I'm humbled uh, by, this, uh, by this honorary degree. So yes, it is my, uh, 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 my role to wrap up this wonderful evening um, and to thank everybody for joining us. Thank you, uh, Dr. Tapper. And thank you to all of our honorees. Thank you to all members of the Gratz community. Thank you to all those who supported us uh, tonight and who have been supporting us for so many years um, and are just loyal to our mission and to who we are. Um, we wouldn't be here without you. Uh, so thank you. I hope you all enjoyed the program as much as I did. Um, this was, as uh, Jake, you said earlier when Paul asked that very uh, complex question, you said it's a, it was a lot. <laughs> so we, this whole evening was a lot to uh, think about um, and very meaningful in so many ways. So thank you all. Um, I hope you will all take a moment to, uh, to look at our tribute book and to uh, hear the heartfelt messages or read the heartfelt messages from uh, all of those many who have contributed tonight um, and um, go to our website, learn more about Gratz. Um, if you would like to make a gift, it's not too late, please go online uh, to, to do so. Um, and I just want to end by saying, um, to giving my wishes to everybody for health and wellness. 
uh, safety and a joyous holiday. Uh, it goes without saying that these are very tough times. Um, so that is in my heart for all of you to be well and, um, uh, and to uh, be with us uh, for, the, for another 125 years. So thank you all very much and good night.